Howdy everyone, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. I've seen vagrants making their beds in the streets at night. I'm not really sure why this guy's dead over here, but he's dead. I really need them to be here. Somewhere. So many fucking locals. It's all locked. Do you want to have some fun? Uh, no, I don't think so. Fine by me. I can find another man. Go check out the store, see if anyone's in there. Well, that's the man himself right there. Howdy there, sir. Hello. Howdy. You, what's your name again? I'm Moses Amos. Moses, that's right. How's your, uh... Yesterday. Yeah, how's your, uh, bow crafting coming? All right, ain't Devin. I stayed overnight here. I've got some more paperwork business. I'm waiting on a fella. He's taking his sweet time, and I'm just about ready to give up and head back up to Valentine. Oh, okay. Well, you, your friends haven't contacted me yet and on that fiber. I'm still waiting to hear from them. Okay. Yeah, let me, uh, I don't think they're awake right now. Uh, but if I see them, I'll get in their ass for you. How's that sound? Oh, all right. I don't mind you. I'm just waiting on you folks. Yeah, no, I understand. I'll get in their ass and see where they're at with their, uh, or where they're at with that fiber there. I'm not sure what they're doing or, well, I know they were trying to get some fertilizer the other day and they were running through town picking up horse shit, so, I'm not sure. Oh, well, that's how you get fertilizer, I suppose, I ain't a farmer. I'm not sure how you get fertilizer, to be honest, but, yeah, they were picking up horse shit, and I was like, that's fucking gross, so, whatever. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get with them about that fiber. I'll, uh, send a telegram to Mr. Hawthorne and see what they're doing. 
all right i yeah. say you know any uh any kitchen or saloon or somebody looking to uh purchase some meat some processed meat or raw cuts or something like that that's my business i'm looking to expand a little bit on my orders um possibly follow me all right Are you taking me to Bastille? Yeah, have you been there already? I've been around a month back and half of them are work and they've told me they want my conduct me, but they had never have. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if there's in or not. They were. I talked to a few of them earlier. Well, I left some paper on their counter there asking them if they want to do some business they might contact me, but I ain't heard no one or nothing from them. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they're here, but let me, I'll take a look for you. I'm pretty close to them. Here on the, on the ground. Someone's on the ground here. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing there. Taking a nap, maybe. There you go, fucking soul here. Hello? Hello, anyone here? I don't think they're here, Moses. Mm. Uh, but this is what you I can do. That note over there, right there next to that wash basin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, I can reach out to them. I'm uh, personal friends with them. So let me reach out to them and see if uh, they're looking for anything. And I'll get back to you. All right. Thank How's you. That I appreciate it. You're welcome. If you need anything else, you let me know. Have you stopped by the road Thank saloon? Uh, I've stopped there quite a few times. And the owner there, she... Uh, she believes herself exempt from any uh, state taxes, but she don't want to do business with me because I need to put out invoices. Oh. She just wants to pay me under the table. Okay. I can't do that. You see, I'm running legitimate, so I'm uh, I'm forced to pay taxes to keep my license for practicing this uh this trade. Right, yeah, uh, I understand. Maybe she, she'd be interested. I know I let her know about an invoice, and uh, she said she considered it, but again, I haven't heard from her either. Yeah, can uh, let me reach out to them and see. Um, it's Julian's uh, or uh, Alexander. I can reach out to one of them and see if they're interested. And whenever I pick up my product from you, I will uh, I reach back out to you and let you know. Say, so, do you do any? Custom work for rifles. Uh, not yet. That's coming. I'm waiting for all my parts to come in. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to uh, get some rifles made custom with bore, and boring for the for the bore, of course, and getting more accurate for for hunting, and then maybe offering this up in my store. Uh, maybe you're interested in striking up contract for that. I ain't a few rifles, but ain't plenty. I guess maybe five or six of them. Uh, possibly. That'd just be a conversation we'd have to have. Um, yeah, certainly, certainly. I'd have to look at the profit of it. Well, I, I buy my uh, rifle stock, and then I sell them up for market price. So far, I know it's seventy-five dollars. That's for them, them, uh, them uh, European bolt action. And we got ourselves the uh, the American Springfield, also sixty-five dollars. Some, some, some sale. Not all the time. It takes a while for him to run out, but I figure if I can get myself a board out rifle, I can go off for that. And folks might be interested, and I can cut a profit, and you can cut a profit too. Yeah, I'm in the business of making a profit, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So, right. uh, yeah, just uh, let me get all my parts in. We can, uh, we can sit down and figure out what exactly you're wanting to sell and how we're going to customize it and how much it'll be. Okay, that uh, sounds good to me. Uh, yeah. You got my, my telegraph service number, don't you? I do not. What is it? All right, let, let me just give you the company catalog. I've made this up. In case you help me, you can give it on over to someone, and they can take a look at it. Where did I keep it now? Oh, dear. This here has got my... Telegraph service number on it, and just about price for anything we sell up there in Valentine. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely uh, I'll shoot you a telegram so you got mine. Unless you got a piece of paper, you can write it down. 
Or I don't have nothing on me right now. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. I'll just shoot you a telegram uh, with your mm -hmm. telegram you gave me, and that way you'll have mine, I'll have yours. How's that sound? All right. That's great. All right. Indeed. Appreciate you, Moses. And if you need something beforehand, you just let me know, okay? And then uh, right. I'll definitely reach out to you when we get all my parts in to start customizing guns, and maybe we can okay. set up a little business deal. Good. That's good. All right. All righty. You. You're welcome. You take care. And uh, just stop on by the store whenever you got everything ready, and uh, I'll pay you handsomely. All right, okay. I, I'm waiting for them. As soon yep. as they deliver, right. then it's going to be swift. Yeah, I'm going to walk down there I'm and uh, get in the Hawthorne's ass, see what's taking them so long. Okay. All righty. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Moses is a good fellow. I like Moses. Go down here and send some telegrams. But that's all I've been doing today is sending telegrams. I'm out of there. I don't know, go fuck myself. I can just fuck a tree there. Ain't no one friendly no more in this damn down. Hello! Oh, you scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> what are you doing? You just hide? For a telegram. Damn, scared the shit out of me. Hey, uh, have you seen Alex? Did he leave? Uh, Alex? Alexander? Oh, I haven't seen him yet. Look, I seen him a while ago, and he gave me some guns, and I haven't seen him since, but, uh, uh, how high up are you at the Bastille? Oh, I can... Did you need me to get something more? No, no, no. So, a gentleman reached out to me. His name's Moses. I don't know if you know what Moses. Uh, but Moses is doing some work for me. Uh, getting me some uh, some lassos going uh, for super cheap. Um, so, I he reached out to me. He's wanting to know if you guys would like to buy some meat from him to help with your store. You know, for all your ingredients and stuff for the saloon portion. Um, but he says he can't ever get a hold of anybody. I actually walked down here to send, uh, Alexander and, yeah, Alexander a telegram about it. But, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Yvonne will buy whatever meat that you guys have. I'm not too sure what exactly she needs. Um. I don't have any, uh, personally, but he does. And he's been trying to get a hold of somebody there. I guess he went to the road saloon and she kind of turned him down. Um, so, something about a fucking invoice or something. He wanted to invoice it, and I fuck if I know. 
So who knows? Uh, I'll definitely. I can put the word to them and uh, let them know or let you know if I see you again. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that'd be cool. I just. Uh... And you said that you're usually at the gun shop, right? So it'll be pretty easy to find you. Yeah, I'm always there. I fucking. I swear to God, I'm always there. I hardly ever get out. I go to the Bastille, that's about it. I normally stand up on the balcony and drink my tea or my coffee if I just wake up. So. Alright, yeah. I see Moses a few times a week, too, so... Yeah, he's here in town. Know. He's waiting on some other fella for some business thing, but apparently he's taking a sweet fucking time, so Moses is getting pissy about it. I don't know who it is or what it is, but I didn't ask questions. Yep, I'll let her know. I'll All right. Because she needs get it to Moses. All right. Well, then I won't even I won't even fucking send Alexander a telegram about it then. Yeah. So I, I don't want to tell you and then tell him. It's a waste of time. Yeah. No, we'll get it done. No, it right, sounds good. I appreciate you. I'm just looking out for the guy. He's a good guy, you know. Yeah, he seems so. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, howdy there. How are you? Good. I actually just came from your uh, store. Picked oh. Up, uh, revolver. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Glad you got your one. I was. I tried to email or send you a telegram since we got one in. Yeah, I think I was, uh, might have been in my hotel room, but I uh, woke up. I was in Strawberry. I went over there. I'm like, I'm going to see if they have one. Just, just so I don't have to come down, you know. Yeah. And uh, went to the bank, grabbed the money out. Went back over there, went to it, and literally in the minute that I was gone, somebody bought the one they had. Oh. So I'm like, guess I'm coming down to St. Denis anyway. So I got yours, but... Well, I appreciate you coming to me. Yeah, they had one up there, which is surprising, because they didn't yesterday. So mm, I bet you, you know what happened then? I bet you somebody traded it in for something different. That's what I'm thinking. Because... I haven't seen one for a few days, and then I saw it right after I saw your telegram. Oh. Yep. Well, I got plenty in stock, so if you need some more, just go get you some more. Sounds good. I may well, pick up a, a second one here in the future. I like it. That's a good idea. They're pretty limited stock, so um, make sure you get all you can while I got them. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably pick one up in the next day or two. No, right, perfect. Uh, yep. I, I can't be promise to be there. But... Wagon right now, but that's oh, fine. Yeah, no, I understand. I got one, I'm happy for now. Yep, I understand. I understand. Well, sounds good. It's good meeting you again. I guess you guys had a good ride back over from uh, Guarma. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was good. It was all right. Good deal. I'm glad it wasn't too bad for you. Did you happen to notice? I don't know if you had this uh, 
but when we got back, we noticed we still had the same boat ticket. Though. I still got it in my fucking pocket. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't know. I thought about trying to use it again and go back over, but there ain't yeah, really shit over there for me to do. No, not really. Do you guys I mean, unless you process sugar, but I don't foresee you really using it, so. No, I don't use no damn sugar. No, that's about all that's over there. Yeah, which is weird. Where I'm from, Gorma was, that was the place to be. You didn't want to get caught going to Gorma. I thought that would be the same way here. Pirates or whatever yeah. you have it out there, but. Fire Maybe it's get a little you. early on. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see. So, alrighty, buddy. Well, it's good seeing you again, and if you ever need anything, just come on by the store. Hey, sounds good, man. I'm, um, I got a long-ass ride back to Strawberry, so. Okay. Yep, sounds good. Well, you be careful going out that way. Here, it's kind of rough out of those parts now. Uh, Valentine and Rhodes are. But Strawberry, we've been, uh, everybody's been kind of, like, keeping an eye on it and making sure nobody out there is getting into anything, so. Yeah, it's how we've been trying to control it here. The problem is the damn town's so big, you can't fucking control everybody all the time, you no, know? No, you can't. Hell, I went to the pawn shop, uh, late last night after the, we did a little Gorma trip. And as we were leaving, posited what I had in the bank, turned the corner and heard about five or six gunshots. I'm like, all right, don't go that other way. Yeah. I heard some shooting around here earlier, but I couldn't find anybody. No. Interesting. Yep, yep. All right, well, I'll leave you well, to it. So have a good ride back no to Strawberry and be careful. Yep, good luck. Stay safe. Yep, you as well. Hmm. Nice fella. Bucks running up in here. Scrambled eggs here. Welcome everyone. If you're just joining in, thanks for coming to hang out. Oh shit! I meant send him a telegram.
Hmm. How do you do? Just heard Bob lost his job. Got six mouths. Well, Let's go down here and see if they're here. They have a little face to face conversation. Fuck this walking, I'm tired of walking. This man's still on the road. Someone could have been nice enough and at least moved him to the sidewalk. Place is always popping with locals, but never anyone that I fucking need to talk to. Hmm. Let's ride around and see if we can find them. Actually, I'm going back here. Is this man okay over here? Look at this guy. Sir, are you fucking okay? Looks like he's about to fucking croak over. Fuck him. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give me a follow so you can get all my notifications whenever I go live. See if they're back here. I really need to talk to them. It really pisses me off that strawberry gunsmith is getting these guns because he told me they weren't. And it fucking sold back here. Not a soul chat. They ain't here. That man looks like he's about to fucking die over there. He's gonna look like that man in about five minutes. There's never anybody in town. It's kind of depressing. Just gonna run back to the store, check the stock real fast. I hear someone riding. 
Out of there. Oh, man. He's coming in hot now. What? See, he's coming in hot. Oh, okay. Sorry. There you go. That'll go. He's rolling in here, chat. 100 miles an hour on the damn horse. Watch out. Run down here and check the store, and then let's go out and find some people. How's everyone's evening going? Is it evening for everybody? Cars fucking walking. Oh, somebody was just in here. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Good deal. How about you? I'm alright. Living my best life, I guess. Hey, so change of plans. We gotta call Billy back. Huh? So we gotta call Billy back. No, come here. I gotta show you this. Yeah. Look at the store. Scroll to the bottom. You see those three guns down there? Do what? Oh my goodness. Uh, you struggling? Okay, now I got it. Okay, scroll down there at the bottom. You see those three yeah. new guns? We can't make those. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Billy's got to be there for them to be able to see them. Right, okay. So, let's leave Billy there. And then, uh, we can just kind of greet people as we come in. Right. Otherwise, we can't sell those guns. And I need to make all that money back. Mm -hmm. I spent like a thousand dollars on all those guns, so I'd like to get all of them back. So. But I appreciate you coming in, and hanging out. It's nice to have a good face around. Yeah, I restocked some of the guns because. They look like they were getting low. Oh, perfect. I've been here a lot of the day. I like it. I like it. No deal. Store looks good. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to set out. I need to run up to Rhodes and then potentially up to Valentine's. So, so if you're going to hang out here, I'm going to go take care of some business. Alright, sounds good. Appreciate you. If you need anything, shoot me a telegram, okay? I don't even have any telegram. Well, here you go. I'll write down for you. There you go. You got it? Yep. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna head out. Take care of some business. Where's this stupid fucking horse? Always comes around the corner.
We're about to go smooth over the wall, I think. That's what we're about to go do. See what they need. Offer them some free ammo. Hello. I think that's all. Hold on. Hold up. Hold on. Hold up. Oh. Are you guys law? No. Oh shit. All right. Never mind. Oh well. Shit. I'm sorry. Are you Cody? Oh, my name is David. David, David. from the Fat Nats? No, David from the Gunsmith here in town. Oh, hey, it's good to see you. You guys as well? Um, you guys need anything from the store? Uh, I'm so, trying to get a house, but I don't know if I won my bidding or not. Oh, yeah, me either. I don't know if I won yet or not either. For you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, if I would buy 50 rifle and 50 pistol ammo, how much would that cost me? Uh, so 50 rifle. Let me just see my hand. Are you an attorney as well? I, nah, he, I, he's I am a secured. Security. Yeah, I'm private security. Okay. Get, I'm just trying to get some prices for my boss. Okay, give me just a second. Contracts drafted up for your business? Do I? Hmm, not yet, but I could. Uh, you want to take down my telegram and I'll take down yeah. yours? Well, my telegram is on my card, which is available in the courthouse. Okay. But, uh... But um, if you want to take down my telegram real quick, I can give it to you, and you can just contact me if you need anything that comes to contracts, writing your final will and testament, getting okay. expungements, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, sure. Go ahead with it. All right. It's going to be you, you, 62360. So you is in union. You is in union. 62360. 360. Yep, you got your, it. Your name's Cody Stone, right? Yep. You got it. Also, I got a really cool gun right now. Check it out. I just got the ammo for it. Is that the Colt the Steel? Uh, I got the Steel Colt, and this one is the the Double Action uh, Gambler. Yep, I sell both those in my store now. Nice. I like the Gambler, and I yep. like my Steel Colt. Let me do some math in my head here, sir, and I'll get you those prices for me. Yeah, I know the cheapest that he has found so far was out of Ansberg. It was a uh, hundred and eighty, is what he paid, and he's looking for a better deal. For all of it? Yeah. Oh. That was fifty rifle, fifty pistol. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. All right, I'll let him know. All right. So if he's going to buy bulk like that, I'm going to give him a big discount. So, uh, yeah, $150, he got himself a deal. Reminds Alrighty. me of when I bought 50, 50 cups of coffee in one cup. <laughs> I did that literally <coughs> two days ago. What was it again? Alrighty. You bought what? 50 cups of coffee at one time. Holy shit, were you thirsty? No, I just had to go through all the entire day doing nothing but paperwork. How else do you think I get through? This is true. I do like me some good coffee. Coffee and tea. I like, I like tea too, but I like my coffee with some chocolate. Mmm. You know? Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Good stuff. Alrighty, sir. I well, hate to, I no, you're fine. Horse, short, we so gotta I'm gonna go. keep an eye out for where my horse went. Alright. Well, y'all take care now, and then just let your boss know it's 150, and I'll get him taken care of. Will do. Alright. You as well. And that chat is how we make deals on the fly. I need to figure out what kind of documents I would need written up. I 
don't know what documents are. When you got any ideas, chat, what kind of documents should I get rid of? For the store. Something about all sales final, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. Go over here and try to smooth over the law, see if they need some guns. Out of there. How are you? I'm doing okay about yourself. I'm pretty good. I'm doing it. So, uh, I actually came over to talk to you. Do you know if this gunsmith here is in town? Silas tends to be waking up early in the throughout the day, not, not during these hours. Oh, very good. Perfect. So, I can smooth over some business deals with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so. Unfortunately. Weapons department that is not up to me anymore. Oh, it's not. Why not? I am no longer under sheriff. Oh, uh, what are you now? Just deputy, senior deputy. Just a senior deputy. How come? What happened? Bunch of bullshit. No, fair enough. Well, that did the uh, the motion is no longer a, dep uh, a part of the department anymore, so I'm kind of stuck where I'm at. Oh. I haven't seen the under sheriff around, and I haven't seen the sheriff either. Huh, I seen the sheriff yesterday. I actually, sold some guns yesterday. Um, but this is what you can do for me if you'd like. It's up to you. I see there's a couple of you standing around here So what I would like to offer you all is that if you would use me for all of your guns for the Lamorne Sheriff's Office I'll throw in all the ammo you need for free Holy shit. Oh man. Yeah that sounds like a good to me. <laughs> Yeah, so you take care of me. I'll take care of you. I'm making money. You're making money. Chase and Bacon, uh, thanks for the sure, follow. I'm pretty sure that all the guns that we consecrate, I think we're going to think about having you buy them back. I like that idea. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Yeah, because we just have them piling up in the armor. In the, in Chase and Bacon for the follow. Thank no you, sir. Them, really. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, I think we've talked about that before, and I would we definitely. Have, was something that Santos was bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, I'd love uh, to do I that. Like that and I was going to do it if I was still in the position that I was in. Yeah. So, uh, I'd like to throw in. Um, if you guys bought some guns from me for now on as your main supplier, I'd throw in, uh, say, 50 or however much ammo you need, and we'll do all that for free. So, that's my proposition. We're, I still, haven't... we're, still, getting a, we're still getting a discount for the bolt holders, yeah? Oh, duh. Okay, all right, all right. We'll just make it sure. I don't know what... What do I look like? I'm going to rob you from your money. I'm just trying to help you, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I... I'll... I'd lose a little money to help the law. You know, that's what's important. You help me, I'll help you. You keep going on with the short, uh, the, you know, the, 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 the good prices around the home of Gus, because you're the only one that has the cheapest prices around, I'm going to be honest. That's what I like to hear. So it's, that's what it's good to hear. I will tell you, uh, that, uh, my bolt actions and my Springfields are going pretty fast, but I'm not sure why y'all don't carry those. How come the sheriff's office doesn't order those? Uh, um, because most of the time, has a fire short, a higher short fire rate. I'm pretty sure. When it comes to fat, it, it is not fast enough for what we need for our duties. That's where we kind of okay. the repeaters. I mean, that's just my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. They got in their guns, you know. If there was a pump shotgun, <laughs> if those things were around, you know. Yeah. So where uh where I come from uh the county I used to live in uh so we had pump shotguns but they were only available to law. Maybe that's something I should bring up. 
What do you guys think? You guys like that idea? Are you able to make them? Nope, not yet, but uh, I can talk to someone about giving me the supplies to make them. Oh, yeah, you, you do that, we're definitely going to be buying a whole bunch of pumps. <laughs> yeah, well, as long as you buy them from me and I'm putting in the legwork for you all, if yeah, you, as long as yeah. I'm your main supplier. Absolutely. I'll talk to Thumes and uh, I'll see what he says. I'm pretty sure he'll be okay with it. it sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah, just uh, let me know if you guys need any guns. I know I just, uh, I just gave him some uh, navies and some Winchesters. But uh, if he needs more and wants to stock up on some ammo too, just let me know. You know, it's not, as long as we're not doing like a thousand boxes of ammo or some crazy shit no, like no, that, no, 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 no. you know. Yeah, I mean, I can do that, no problem. As long as, you know, but here's my thing, and I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm a businessman. I mean, you know that through and through. The biggest thing is I don't want to be supplying you guys ammo, and then you guys are buying all your guns for somebody else, because then you're kind of fucking me in the long run, you know? Yeah, no, understandable. Yeah, no, when it comes to the recruits, we supply the weapons to them. So. Yeah, so hey, that, that's all I'm asking. Do what, I'm sorry? Do you have a repeater? No. I have you, a Mauser, you, you, a revolver, and a rifle. That's it. So you're, you're, telling, you're telling me you went ahead and spent money on a bolt action first instead of getting yourself a repeater. For free? I from inside? Lazambra offered me to loan it while I was hunting and then pay him back later. So I did that. Oh, well, that's nice of him. Well, yeah. Don't, yeah, well, take your business to uh, this guy right here now. Yeah, come on over, my stores. You said you guys, you know, the, the deputy's office supplies recruits with... Long yeah, long. if you don't have a weapon, you have a weapon. Can, can I have a repeater? That, that is going to be something under Sheriff and Sheriff question, not me. That's not up to me. I'm broke. You have a weapon, not if you didn't have a weapon on you for any reasons that I don't understand, but... Okay, give me, yeah. give me a moment. No, 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 don't you fucking... Do Oh, well, fuck, here we go. All right. I don't, Jesus. sir, I do not have any firearms. I, I need a supply. This he, he is empty. I don't see no guns on him there. Yeah, put your hands up. No guns. Hmm. Well, what is this? A free gun? You can pick it up. Oh, no. I, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't uh, a concerned citizen's firearm that he's left. That would be that would be larceny, sir. I don't know. I, I, I was told by an anonymous tip line that there's an individual that left the bolt action in the back and had a badge on them. He was wearing brown oh. vest, brown hat, uh, brown pants, brown boots. Had a well, gray colored shirt. Well, not brown. They're uh, they're black. Oh, they don't look I'm fucking sorry. black. So that, that, that fails the description. <laughs> Yeah, well, they say that they had a bunch of uh, the clay on them, so... Had a bunch of clay on them? Well, it, we'll, we'll look around you. Yeah. yeah. I'm match the description to me. What the fuck did my oh, no, 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 no. Did he have two eyes or one? We couldn't tell from his goofy fucking hat. What? I mean, what? Did, 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 did this individual have two or one eyes? Eh, they had two eyes. Yeah, the two eyes. Okay, and, uh, well, uh, well, you see, it, it can't be, what the it can't be me. <laughs> this man just popped out a whole eyeball. What the fuck? Are you? Are you okay? Uh, you a witch or something? I, I lost, I lost an eye and me. Oh, they also have a scar on their face right there where their nose is on the right side of their face. Yeah, but you see, he has two eyes, and I, I obviously just have one. So. Yeah, you got two fucking eyes from a distance. Damn it, don't play stupid. <laughs> Oh lord, oh no, lord, oh lord. Jesus oh, okay. Christ. No, well, listen, I mean, you can okay. trade in the bolt action for it. I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that, do you? No, because I know I can fuck someone up better with a bolt action than I can with a repeater. Alright, well, when it comes to close combat, then she's gonna be shit out of luck, because that shit's only Well, if I could have a machete, then that would go really easily. But apparently, that's not available for us. I want those you can't use a machete, but. Uh, you know, just face the questions of your actions afterwards. Victoria told me I couldn't have machete. No one tells you you can't have a something, it's just that, like I said, face the consequences for your actions afterwards. So, I would be liable to... Yep. You would be liable <laughs> okay. for the, uh, yep. Because uh, no deputy should be having a machete to be doing law duties with. What about an axe? Same thing. Not knife? 
Hey, why would you need a knife? You gonna stab somebody? Wait, you don't carry a knife? What, oh, oh, wrong thing. What does this look like? Oh. Well, that's why I was questioning. Mine's pretty know. nice. I got this buck knife here. Are you seeing these? I don't think you can use that to skin animals. I don't think so. Yeah. I keep, I keep, this is my self-defense knife. Oh. I might actually want one of those. They're pretty nice, I tell you. They come in handy. But yeah, no, that's my self-defense knife, and then I have a regular knife I use to scan. So. What you staring at? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big melee enthusiast. Hey, mm. punch this local coming up. No. Alright, say so this is a private conversation. Well, he might be just. Oh, uh. <clears throat> he told me to hit him. So, anyways. I, I, get, I get tired of local just walking past to us and just bumping into us and don't say excuse or nothing. Oh. I mean, Feb, that's assault. I got another business deal for you, too. It's um, assault when you get bumped by somebody, you know that? No, that's an accident. That is assault. That's assault. He saw me there. Uh, yeah, he did it on purpose. Was a, there was a whole road right there. That, yeah, yeah it was definitely on purpose. Maybe Anyways, just half blind. so your sheriff asked me about some reinforced lassos. Uh, oh, holy shit. Oh. Uh, I know we have a bunch. Yeah, I'm about to get some more um, that are for you all. And uh, New Hanover, I think. So, uh, I'm getting some reinforced lassos made. Um, to sell to you all as well, and I'll sell that to you at a discounted price as well. I think we're good on lassos. Let me double check. You can never have I enough. Have a reinforced lasso. <laughs> Please. Uh, I mean, probably. Yeah, That's because probably this thing that, people uh, keep breaking out of this thing. Yeah, reinforcements are much better. It's pissing me off that I keep breaking out of it because, well, a whole situation happened in my life. Hmm. What, do you just have a regular lasso? Yeah, I just got a regular lasso. That's all I got, too. Is this a play with the with carbine repeaters? What? Repeater? 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 Yeah, did you just play the department with the carbine repeaters? Now, do I look stupid? I'm kind of curious because, uh, why the fuck we got carbine repeaters? No. Well, I could probably tell you the gunsmith over there probably gave them to you. I'm just saying. Yeah, Can I have a carbine repeater? There we go. There's Winchesters in there. I just I gave know, him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're you're my higher ups. Can I have one? I'm just hey, I'm a senior deputy. deputy. Yeah, I'm just a senior deputy. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, you might be able to answer this. How can I get a hold of the marshals? F E D. Well, I know. Well, it's not an emergency. I just want to like get in touch with someone about supply. Yeah. Uh, F E D would mean, be your best shot. On the That's bushes. not necessarily. Well, you could do that too, but F E D is not a. It's not a. Uh, it's not emergencies only. Only if you got questions or concerns, you can always telegram. Okay. Yeah, I just want to. You know, I don't know where they're getting their stuff at, but I'd like to supply them as well. That's Basically, the gunsmith. I have a question for you. Uh huh. What can you do with guns? I can make them. Can you customize them? I can make them. That's about it. Oh, you can't barrel them. No, nope. like that. Can't do none of that yet. I'm. We're waiting on our parts to come in eventually. Uh, whenever the fuck that'll be. Fucking. I guess the train got stuck in the dock, or they put them on the boat and the boat got lost in the sea. Fuck if I know. Right, that would make me very happy. Yeah. I, I want to get my obnoxiously green gun. Yes, I agree. There is some for some Yeah, I understand. I had a lot of people ask me about it. Uh, but we haven't heard anything really other than uh, apparently it's on its way. Where it's at, fuck if I know. But. Okay. That could be. <laughs> Probably in the bottom of the sea somewhere. Probably. At this fucking yeah. point. But who yeah, knows? Yeah. No, Enrique, I do have a question. Would it be bad for me to dress up in all green oh, as no, a deputy? Worries. We can keep talking for hours, unfortunately. You're gonna um, definitely be making us look like a fool, and then I'm gonna have to probably beat your brains out. I love the color green. Tomorrow. And well, I can you make keep that the in your personal time. Alright. Oh. I will do. Okay. 
Does this app um, work? I'm usually available mid afternoon and I'll be uh, available. Yeah, you're fine. Night, so. Because this is the only effort I got. Right. I mean, you look a little fucking dirty, but you're all right. Uh, well, uh. Oh, oh God. Help. There's a bear behind. Is there a bear behind me? No, what? A bear? Is there a bear behind me? Now, when the fuck have you ever seen a bear in roads? The worst thing can be behind you be a dog. What? Yeah, Santos is over there. Where? Yeah. Well, well, I heard a roar. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna take my coat off here. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to see a couple, a uh, couple uh, dust kicking up. Uh, if you're gonna be in the town more longer than five minutes, flee your horses, please. Por favor, I appreciate okay. it. You get your job. No. Holy shit! Oh. You're gonna warn me, fuck. I, I cannot oh, be. Who's nowhere near you? Let me let me wait, flee wait, my wait, horse. Wait, 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 hold on. I'll, I'll do another scary one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one's gonna be really scary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm gonna pretend I didn't fucking hear that. Not scary. So we are, yeah, that was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, meet my fiance, Chloe. Hi. Hi. Did you get your job at the judicial office? I did. I'm a clerk. Oh, lovely. You're a I'm what? Gonna clean my horse real quick. I'm a clerk. Oh, a clerk. Oh, okay. I am. Well, congratulations. I'm a wet my way up to the top. Well, yeah. Not a position because I don't want that kind of stress, but yay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So, uh, if y'all need anything, uh, make sure your sheriff reaches out to me. Um, yep, I'll pass along the message. Okay. Not that I'm trying to steal business, I'm just trying to steal business. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> we don't pick size when it comes to that. That's between y'all like and Smith. Yes, y'all war, not mine. You're a businessman through and through. I like you. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm just here to make a dollar and help everybody else, you know? That's all I'm here for. So, well, I guess I'm going to run up to Valentine, smooth them over up there, too, and uh, go to Blackwater and see if they're out there as well. Don't get your ass beat. Huh? Don't get your ass beat. Oh, no. I'll put a bolt in somebody's brain and start pointing guns at me. There's one thing I've learned in life. If you're going to fuck with anyone, don't fuck with a gunsmith. As in, don't fuck with me. So. <laughs> yep, there, there you go. So, uh, obviously, uh... Me? No, they get mean to me. Ah, because I try to steal their business because they offer better prices, a lot nicer looking, and uh, yeah. Did I mention? Oh, tell her how good my prices are. I mean, are you undercutting or are you are you making profit from your, your selling uh, tactics? Let's just say profit is not an issue for me. I make plenty of profit, and I have plenty of money. Okay, I'm, j so I'm just... undercutting just to undercut? Mm, no, I'm undercutting. Daniel, you should get along with him. He does the same thing you do. I don't undercut. I just make better business decisions than everyone else. Okay, yeah, I'm really gonna get along with you. Hey, I'm just saying. It's not undercutting if I'm being smart about it. If I was undercutting and losing profit, that's where the things come in no, a little different. Not, uh, even though you're lying your oh, I'm making plenty of profit. What? Plenty of profit. Are your guns as good as what you're marketing them for? Uh, yeah, they're phenomenal. You see this uh, Winchester repeater here he's got on in the back? That's my gun I made him in the beginning when I got here. Uh, is it sight and rifled? Is it what? Is it sight and rifled? <laughs> of course. Uh, so you can't sight a rifle guns down. Do what? Sights and rifle guns down. Um, yes and no, kind of. Um, I normally sight them in after uh, I make them and everything. and be good to go. Um, we're waiting on uh, the rest of our rifling kits to come in to improve our barrels. This is what we're waiting on. Oh, okay. Yeah. I sight them in before I sell them, before I put them in the store. I make sure everything's good to go. That way if someone from, obviously, law buys it, then they don't have anything to worry about. They shoot straight every time. So you have 
took quality guns for good prices. That's, That's right. So, all right, man. Well, good seeing you. I think she thinks I'm undercutting people, but really, I'm just making smart business deals. I don't have binoculars. What the fuck is y'all doing? I thought there was a, like a situation going on. No, no, no. Just no. Spying on somebody. Everyone, everyone watch the There's so many people here binoculars. Alright, well, I'm going to Valentine. I'm not going back to the Whoever the fuck is crossing in front, they're going to get punched, I think. I should hit those tracks. Tell me to Valentine. Just tell me to Valentine. I thought so. Yeah, we're gonna ride up the Valentine, see if we can smooth over the good old Oh fuck, I don't know which way to go. Shit. Oh right. Go right. They have to go right.
Holy shit, there's a lot of people up here. I'd like to go in and scope out the competition. See what they got in here. Anything new? Sixty dollars still for that. Fuck. Thirty, thirty. Howdy, everybody. How's it going, sir? Yeah, you all law here? That's right. Perfect. Is the sheriff around or the undersheriff? He is not. Oh, all right. Well, that's okay. We can I, help you with? Well, uh, I just come up to make a business proposition is all. Uh, so, my name's David McCarthy. I'm the St. Denis gunsmith owner. And uh, I was just want to come up and see if you guys needed any guns um, that we could supply you. And uh, we throw in some free ammo with you. I believe we have a Mr. Lassie here in town that takes care of us. Uh, I don't, I don't want to speak from the sheriff and under sheriff, but I, I think that that's where we get most of our uh, items. Yeah, I understand. I just, uh, I just know my prices are cheaper than him, and uh, I like to throw in the free ammo for you as well. So that's all. They might be around a little bit later if you want to speak with them. Yeah, I might come back up and just say hey, uh, introduce myself. I haven't met him yet, so or her, so. Uh, I believe I already told Holiday yesterday, and uh, um, he said that he wanted to take advantage of that. Or not yesterday, the, it was either yesterday. Oh man, he's going to end up running somebody yeah. up. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so uh, if you just, uh, do you want to take my telegram for him? I don't think I gave it to you yesterday. Yeah, I can take your telegram. You give me the order. All right. Sorry. What's your name again? Uh, David, David McCarthy. So who's going? Me, Janice, Mason. All right. What's uh? For what? So my tel my telegram is C is in Charles, F is in Frank, seven eight three one one. Seven eight three one one. Yes. All right. Yeah. Not my. Be safe. I'm not gonna be able to continue tonight. Let me offer you this map. So if uh, anything changes, make sure y'all just shoot me a telegram. I'll get y'all taken care of. We're going up to Lassie's. All right. So, all right. Well, good doing business with you, and uh, can't wait to hear from you. All right. I'll make sure they telegram you. All right. Thank you much. Have a good one. Me too. They did not seem very happy about that, Chuck. Me coming up here, my. Like, hey. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Can I help you at all? Uh, you got any coffee here? Uh, yes, one moment. It's, uh, 2 Perfect. There you are. Oh, Here you are, sir. Thank you much. You're welcome. And what's your name? Uh, my name's David. David McCarthy. David McCarthy. Oh, I think I... I think I met you. Possibly. Uh, yeah. Is that or you have a brother? I do have two brothers. Um, oh, where do you think you yeah, saw me at? Down. Well, it would have been here. Uh, I've been in here a few times. Uh, me and my brother Rick were in here maybe yesterday. Okay, then... Possibly. I'm sorry. It's so many new faces all the time. No, I understand. I understand. There's a lot of us. So. <laughs> well, welcome, Mr. McCarthy. Thank um, you. Yeah. 
My name's Evelyn. Oh, nice to meet you, Evelyn. I think I've seen you maybe around Saint Denis before. Uh, yes, I've I've been around Saint Denis a couple of times. Um, mostly with somebody, but. Okay. Uh, do you, do you work here? Do you own this place? Uh, yes, I work here. I actually am the manager here. Um, Mr. Oscar uh, Jameson is the uh, the owner. Okay, so you just work here. All right, fair enough. Right. Well, it's a nice yes. place you have here. Well, thank you. I try to keep it clean as possible. It's really hard with the amount of mud that's tracked in, but um, everyone's real nice, and um, Mr. Oscar's a really good boss. Yeah, everyone's been pretty nice here uh, since I've come up, so I just uh, yeah. like to get out of St. Denis every now and then and, you know, see somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I haven't been to St. Denis in a little bit now. Yeah, it's, I was uh, thinking of going to buy some dr a new dress. Okay, yeah, well, we'd love to have you. It's a good town for sure. I'm trying to keep the trouble out of it, so... Well, that's good. That's good. And who's uh, who's this gentleman here? Um, this is my friend, Mr. Hagen. Oh, nice to meet you. Do you uh do you work at the gun store here in town? Uh, no, no. Um, that would be Hawk or Mr. Lassie, but I'm afraid they're both out right now. Okay. Okay. Well. Um, if you guys ever are in the St. Denis area and need some guns or some ammo, I'm the gun store owner down there. So, uh, All right. yeah, just come on in and uh, our store's fully stocked all the time. We got some pretty good prices and, uh, we got some pretty good quality guns. So if you guys are ever around, just step on in, say, Hey, and you know, we'd love to have you. Oh, we'll do that. Um, uh... yes, yeah, lassos. Uh... Yeah. There's someone, uh. Are you the, sh do you work up at Strawberry? Yeah, he's the carpenter from Strawberry. Yeah, 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 he's going to be making me some lassos. I appreciate that. Oh, I see. All right, well, that's good. It's good that you, uh, or at least have heard of each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he came to my store earlier today and delivered me okay. some handles. Very nice. Yeah. Well, if, ever, if ever I um, am in St. Denis and, uh, well, whether I'm in need of a gun or not, um, Maybe I'll have you take a look at my, my little uh, side piece and um, maybe give it a clean or something. Yeah, absolutely. I just got some new guns in today. Um, hot off the press there, and uh, they're ready to go. There's uh, quite oh, a few of them nice. in the store. So, so yeah, just hop on in and get you one. They're uh, specialty guns. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm working on some other type of stuff, too, that maybe we can do. Uh, so... We'll see in the future, though. I've got some ideas in, in my head, and hopefully we can get things rolling. Very nice. Well, I hope you, uh, your business is prosperous then. Yeah, that's the plan. For sure, that is the plan. <laughs> so, well, I appreciate the coffee. It's been a phenomenal oh. time, but I think I need to start riding out west. Maybe make some more business deals. All right, well, good luck out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I appreciate you, and your coffee was fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed yourself. Uh -huh. Well, you guys have a great day, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Yes, it was good meeting you. You as well, you as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Hagen, <laughs> he was happy to meet you as well. <laughs> there you go, here's your cup back. Oh, thank you so much, I'll wash that. <laughs> yeah, thank you much, and uh, like I said, y'all have a wonderful day, and if you ever need anything, you just let me know. Will do, thank you. All right. Have a great day. You as well. Travel safely. Uh huh. See what this uh, blacksmith over here's got going.
Got some copper. Three dollars. Man. That's a little expensive. Three and a half for that. No wonder this gunsmith price is so high. this restaurant open? Some of these are open. Nope. I've seen this opened up before. It's an actual restaurant. So dirty. It's actually, uh, we'll stop in out here too and see if this rancher's here. Looks like he might be. Oh, fuck me. I fucking hate that shit. What was it? Dumbass horse. Out of there. Do you work here? Oh, perfect. So my brother and I, uh, we're from St. Denis, and uh, we were looking at trying to get some horses bought and trained. Um, we had two on order. Uh, you'll have to remind me what the name of them are, uh, but they were specific to your stables, and uh, we've been trying to catch somebody here, and I was just riding out west uh, for some business, and I was going to stop in and see if someone was here and check on it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, as I was hired just yesterday, okay. I wasn't told exactly um, if there were any orders out. I should have probably asked. Uh, do you know who took who took your order? Uh, I think it was the owner. I believe. The owner. Yeah. Um, Is it what specific horses do you uh, do you we, train here? We sell and train men. men uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, Menorcan. Menorcan. I don't know. Uh, and then Norfolk Roadsters and Crillos, and then now sell Bretons, and I think um, Black Forest. Okay, I think it was a Norfolk, is what it was. Uh, I think they're five hundred dollars. Uh, did you already pay? No, no, no. We haven't paid yet. We were trying to just get a hold of him and talk to him. He said that he would potentially cut us a deal since we were going to buy two horses. That he could cut yeah. us a deal on the training. Um, but we haven't been able to sit down and talk to him yet. Um, do you, was the, the person you talked to named Terry? Uh, don't give me lying to you. My brother's been doing all the talking <laughs> and all that good stuff. So I'm just kind of in the dust here. The one of them's supposed to be my horse, but he's been doing all the talking. He's been waiting for a telegram. Um, he woke up from his nap earlier to check, and uh, he still hadn't got a response. So. Um, 
Is he around right now? Do you think you can get him over here so I can talk to him as well? Uh, he is not around right now. Okay. Yeah, he's um, he's snoozing. He had a long night. Trying to get all the information I could, because uh, I don't know when uh, the owner is going to be awake. Might be awake tomorrow. She was supposed to be awake uh, a little bit longer today, but I don't know. Um, because it would be great if I knew whether he bought him already. He and... he has not. He has not bought him. Because I'm I'm gonna buy him. Uh, both the horses. Um, he so I know they haven't been bought yet. Uh, we rode up here yesterday and looked around, couldn't find anybody. So. But uh, yeah, they're the Norfolk Roads Roadsters. I think he wanted like a tri-color, some shit like that. I just wanted a black one. But um, now that you have the Bretons, I prefer the Bretons. So if you can get those, are they pretty close to the same price? Do you know? Actually, let me check the stable. Right. Um, I'll walk over there with you. Yep. Oh. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Coco's a little shit, so. Don't put her over here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, anyway, are you doing anything this evening? Uh, I've just been sitting around here. Um, would Would you like to train me a Breton? I can. Uh, like I said, I got to go out west and uh, do some business, um, and then obviously I'll be riding back through back to Saint Denis. So. Yeah, I I just don't know how long it's gonna take to train the horse. Um might be a little bit that's okay uh, i got plenty of time so uh do you know what brenton you have in mind one second here okay. sorry about that um what, what are my options here can i look in the stable here while you're uh, in it should be able to uh it's not letting me hang on Oh, it's shit. actually three fifty is the price of the horse, by the way. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, it's not letting me in the menu. Hey, there you go. You should be able to. Oh yeah, you have to play your horse and then oh. you'll be able to the other. She's so difficult. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it now. I don't get it. Is your brother uh, still wanting the Norfolk? Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a lifer with that horse. Yeah. I would like the Black Breton. That's what I would like. Alright, uh, in... One moment. And your brother is wanting... Which one? Uh, the North... You know? Uh, let me, uh, let me send him something here in uh, my head. Let me just a second, just make sure. I don't want to tell you wrong, you trained the wrong horse, you know? Um, uh, I believe that's what it, I believe that's what he told me. I'm trying to think real hard about it, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was, the Norfolk Roadster. Yeah, the, 
Norfolk. I think it was a tricolor too. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah, if uh, it's definitely the Norfolk, and uh, I believe it's the tricolor one. And he, <laughs> if he gets mad about the wrong color. Uh, <laughs> you can just tell him to go fuck himself, and yeah, he gets what he wants. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, no, you, you I, I'll tell him <laughs> I'll take the blame for it if he doesn't like it. But he, it's a horse is a horse, you know. That's um, how I see it. Actually, let's go to Valentine real quick, because I will need you to hand me the money in order to do that. And you're wanting to train both of them, correct? Yeah, we'll get them both trained, and uh, all that good stuff. All right. Um, so, usually your training, uh, is, uh, oh. Oh, sorry about that. She's a little ornery. So, the training costs 100 here. Okay. Um, you did say that the owner was talking about a deal. Yeah, if you can't do that deal, that's okay. Um, um only because I, the owner isn't here, uh, and, uh, I don't know if she'd be okay with it or not, um, or how much she'd take off from that. Uh, since you're buying two horses, uh, I... I'll pay half of it. Oh no, you don't have to do that. No, 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 it doesn't bother me, but if she does have a problem with it, I'll just pay half of it. Uh, money really doesn't really matter to me, so I just... Like working with horses, so. No right. Um, just pay fifty of it, and it should be good. No right. So you new to training horses, or? Um, yeah. Uh, today is basically my first full day being hired on. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I've worked with horses when I was little, but. Not much. Alright, fair enough. So what, what brings your attention to horses? How come you love them so much? I'm an animal lover. Oh, that's fair. I understand that. I love animals. I got a love for dogs, to be honest. I wish I could have a dog. Yeah, I love me some dogs now. What, uh, what, I don't know why I'm trying. Like, what is your favorite breed? Oh, my favorite? Uh, definitely the healer. Healer's definitely my favorite breed. Uh, like a blue healer? Yeah. I like the red healers. They're really nice. Yeah, those are beautiful dogs. I just have a love for blue healers for some reason. I've, uh, my most favorite dog, the longest dog I had, um, her name was, uh, Ellie. And, uh, she was a blue healer lab mix. She was all black. And, uh, she was the best damn dog I've ever had. And, uh, unfortunately, she had passed away from her old age, and yeah. so I just ain't found someone quite like her yet. So I just haven't been, you know, really looking or nothing, because I just don't feel like anyone could ever replace her. I mean, it's hard finding a dog that you have a connection with, but it's, you'll never know until, you know, either get another dog or you meet a random dog and... Fills your heart, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. But I just can't bring myself to replace her. You know, she was, she was my best friend. She went everywhere with me. She loved horses too. Now she, we went through many horses together, and she, she chased them all, all around the fence and around town, and couldn't ever keep the damn horse calm because she just wanted to chase it all the time. So. Boy, was she scared shitless of cats now, let me tell you. <laughs> she chased a big-ass horse around when we came to a cat. She was not about it. Not about it at all. And I just don't quite understand it, but you know what? I didn't question it. Yeah, like I said, she was the best. She did a lot of my fishing for me. She'd run out in the pond. She'd grab some fish with her mouth, and she'd bring it back to me, and we'd eat it together. 
Dude, we're best friends. Let me tell you the story about her. One time we were sitting, uh, we were sitting in our shop, and uh, this is before I became a gunsmith. I did a lot of uh, just various jobs and crafting for people, you know. And yeah. we were sitting there at the shop. We just had this small, tiny shop. Oh wait, we need to go to the bank. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go, Hawthorne. I just sent you a telegram. Uh, well, you didn't just send it to me. You sent it to me an hour ago, and I replied. Oh, did you? I hadn't checked it yet. Yeah, okay. Alright. Just a off. second. I gotta go give some shit to us. You're fine. Anyways, so back to the store here. So we were sitting at the shop there, and uh, this bird landed. It looked like a dove of some sort. It's like, alright. So I'm sitting there and watching this bird, sipping on my coffee, and... You know, just enjoying my morning. Next thing I know, so she's laying next to me like she normally does in the morning. You know, sipping on coffee and she's watching the birds. And I was like, all right, just your typical morning. You know what she does? She gets up, she pounces on this fucking bird. And I was like, oh no, she killed that bird. And from that point on, she was all about it. That's when she became a bird hunt dog. And she loved, that was her favorite pastime. She'd love, we'd just be sitting there in the morning and going out and killing the birds, and we'd eat them for lunch. Carova, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. It was, it, it was, it was any bird, really. It was just any bird she can get her eyes on, any bird she could catch. But let me tell you something. She did not like to be defeated. And when that bird would outfly her or outrun her, she was not about it. And she'd just come back to the porch, she'd pop the rest of the damn morning. Until she had the opportunity to pounce on another one. Or I took her fishing, one of those. And uh, she'd be a whole new dog again. She'd be ready to go. But until that point, she was not about it. She'd just lay there and pout. I used to call her Big Baby. Gotta think how much money this is. Grova, thanks for the uh, follow again. I appreciate you. Numbers, by the way. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, That's yeah. okay. So his is 500, right? And mine's 350. Okay. So it'd be. Uh, Plus the for the training. A lot of money. Oh, jeez. 900? 900, yeah. One moment. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's 900. I'm terrible with numbers. Somebody tell me. Hurry. Yes. My lucky number is 64. There you are. Hey, uh, let's go for But everyone's having a good time hanging out. I hope you're enjoying this story time. Um, I actually do have a Blue Healer Lab Mix, and she is honestly one of my best friends. And uh, her name is actually Joe, um, is what we call her. And she is the most beautiful dog, and she's the most tame dog. And she really is a big baby. Um, I miss her a lot. Um, she currently stays with my mom. Um, because my mom has another dog and they're just so attached we can't separate them so hurts my heart every day um that i don't get to have her with me but um she is definitely my best friend for sure i forgot to ask uh mayor or stallion free either or. uh i'd like a mayor and i believe he wants a stallion okay Oh, hold on. Hey, hang on, did you buy it yet? No, I did not. Okay, he wants a stallion. Okay. 
No, sorry, he wants a mare. Shit, fuck, I already told you that. He wants a mare. Just give us... Just give me a stallion, actually, and give him the mare. That's how we were doing it. I'm sorry, fuck. It's been a long day. Long day riding. Sorry about that. Look, Chad about fucked it up. He gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna need you to stand by me. I forgot about memes too. Do what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about memes too. So if you wanna stand by me and. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what he wants to name it. Can he change the name later? I don't think you can. Uh, let's get your horse sorted first, and then we can get his horse. Okay. Uh, man, name for Stallion. What's a good name? Him with a good name. Mm. Yeah, think of all the horses I've named. Let's um, name it, uh, let's name it Joe. J-O. Joe. <laughs> you are not the first man to name a horse, Joe. No. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just saying, but we gotta name it J-O. Instead of J O E, <laughs> no, just Joe J O. What about J dot O dot? Nah, just J O. Too much work. Okay. I just call him J O if Bando. I want him. <laughs> Joe Troy. No, okay. What? Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? I said banjo, and then just call him Joe for short. That's a good idea. You want me to do that? No, just do Joe. <laughs> I'll get so much shit if I accidentally call him Banjo. So like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'll never hear the end of it, I promise. We gotta do this quickly. Uh, what's name his? Uh, his is the female, right? The mare? Yes. Uh, what's name it Ellie? E L L I E. And if he don't like it, he can eat a dick. <laughs> Ellie's a cute name. Okay. Alright. Uh, I got both of those horses, and I will get those horses trained for All you. Alright, perfect. Sounds wonderful. And, uh, I'm gonna head out west for a business meeting, and, uh, All I'll right. stop on back through and just see where you're at. Make sure you train mine first, because, uh, his isn't my problem. Alright. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but I'll let him know. I'll send him a telegram, let him know that I got his horse in motion for him. And, uh, we'll go from there. Alright. All right. I should be around pretty much all night, so. Perfect. Sounds good. I'll be around most yep. of the evening as well, so. Okay. All right. Well, it's good doing business with you. It's good meeting you. That's all. Uh, I don't remember my telegram, so actually. Snipe, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. I could probably go to the telegram station real quick. If I can give you mine, you just send it to me whenever you're done. That way you don't have to make a trip down. That is true. Whenever you're ready. I am ready. What's funny? It is Charles Frank 78311. So CF 78311. What's funny? Snipe hit me with it. 78 311. CF 78311. Yep, that'd be me. And right. uh, it's David McCarthy. I'm sorry, you're gonna say your, gonna have to say your name again. Oh, that's okay, it's David Laston McCarthy. M C capital C A R T H Y. Great, got it. 
Perfect. That sounds wonderful. Well, can't wait to hear from you, and I'm pretty excited. I'll let you know when they're done. Uh, you can stop by the ranch whenever uh, to check on the training. Okay, and yeah. Sounds good. I'll let you know. Yep. Thank you so much. I appreciate your yep. time. You're welcome. My character, I just didn't have the same last name. Could have been a long lost family. It could have been. Man, I wish you wouldn't have ended it. We could have met eventually. Oh, someone's about calling the damn sheriff. I don't know what that's about. We could have linked up. Howdy, fella. Howdy. Pretty good. How are you? All right. Guess he's busy. All right, Jet. Let's ride out to Blackwater. What'd your character do? How'd he die? What happened? You gotta tell me. I need the deets. Need the details. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining in, hanging out. Appreciate you. We just bought a horse, and we bought our brother a horse, so I hope I ordered the right horse, the right color, and I hope I gave it a decent name. Alright, and we're going to ride out to Blackwater and see if any sheriff's office are there. Maybe make some deals. Oh, shit. Well, fuck that guy. Shoot him. Don't talk to me like that. You're the one riding fucking 12 wide over there. He was a hunter, but got to doing things and wound up shot. Ooh. What kind of things were you dealing? Like drugs dealing? Cause that ain't no good. You can't be dealing drugs now. Look at them deer. Look at mouse deer. Is that a fucking turkey? That is some turkey. Just moonshine? You get a shot over some moonshine? What the fuck is wrong with people? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going here. Let me go down here. What'd you do? Steal someone's moonshine or what? Huh? I really hope everyone's enjoying the story with David. I put a lot of work into him and I really hope his story just really pans out the way I'm kind of wanting to pan out. I think the server's about to restart too. I will say, David's not trying to make any enemies uh, with going out and making deals with law and all that good stuff. And he just, he honestly just wants to be the best gunsmith. That's his goal. He just wants to be the best gunsmith. It's not even about the money, to be honest. It's just about making relationships with other people and, you know, helping populate St. Denis. And that's the big thing, you know, have all these law come in and have more of a law presence in town. That's, that's important. And, you know, if I can do that through guns and ammo, that's what I like to do. So if there's any gunsmiths in my stream, I'm sorry. I'm just... Trying to make some business deals. Build my character store. Like I said, I hope everyone's having a wonderful time. I'm very much enjoying myself.
definitely think this is Batman story. Rocket Man War, thanks for the raid. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Petty Me, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Love to meet new people. Everyone, welcome in. Welcome in from the raid. Make sure you give me a follow. That way you can get all my live streams. And again, Rocket Mandalore, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Everyone from the raid, welcome in. Welcome in. We're riding over to Blackwater right now. We're trying to uh, make some business deals. Probably going to have to wait till after the storm. I do have a good buddy over here. Um, I'm not sure if he's still over here. I haven't seen him yet. But, uh, Mr. Faraday, He's, uh, he owns the tobacco shop uh, over here in Blackwater. Oh, that's okay. I understand. I got two kids of my own. I understand. Everyone, welcome in. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Hope you guys would love to stay and see the story here developed with Mr. David McCarthy. He's a St. Denis gunsmith, so if you ever been in the store, you probably talked to him. And I hope I've made a good impression. And Mrs. Bacon, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I think the storm's about to happen here soon. I don't know. I haven't gotten anything saying there was a storm coming. Did I miss that chat? Did I miss that there was a storm coming? Rocket Mandalor, thank you for the follow. Yep, there was a storm in one minute. Thank you, the Mrs. Bacon, for that information because apparently I have missed that information. Normally when it gets heavy rain like this, it normally means there's a storm coming. So we're going to take a second of a break, and as soon as the storm is done, we'll be back. But I'm going to stay and talk and hang out. No, I didn't steal any. He just made a silly mistake, and I had barely started, so I chose to just be done. Wish I could transfer all of this shit over. I understand. It's tough trying to get rid of a character, to be honest. I don't know that I could do it. I don't know that I could give up David um, just because he's so successful as a character and he has such a good storyline going and uh there's a lot of stuff that's been happening behind the scenes too which i'm sure your character did um have a lot going on so it's hard to just kind of be done with that hopefully the server's back up we can load back in I have same still, so who knows? Maybe he'll be back someday. That would be cool. It'd be cool if you can bring him back. Don't tell me when, though. Maybe we can cross paths one day. And, uh... Who knows? We might be related. Chat, we are loading back in right now. Here we go. That'd be cool if you could bring him back in for sure. I would give him a little bit though since he did get shot, you know. Maybe try something new. If you're just joining in, thanks for coming to hang out. Make sure you give me a follow. So that way you get all my uh, live stream notifications. Today we're role playing with David McCarthy. He's our St. Denis gunsmith. Let's load on in. Oh, no more rain. Thank goodness. I'm naked. Well, I guess we can hang out for a little bit. See if some law wakes up. They might not. 
head on over to the saloon, see what they got. Always like to support the local businesses, too. Especially when I come in their towns. Oh my goodness, there's a whole lot of people around here. That fellow's hustling. I actually don't know a lot of people over here other than Mr. Faraday in the uh, uh, tobacco shop here. He's the only person I know. Um, I've only met him a few times here in this county, uh, but we go way back in another county. I'm not sure if he's awake. Poster saying Little Moscow Pawn Shop Iron. Hmm. I'm gonna have to stop in there and see where this pawn shop is. Stop in here in the tobacco store, see what he's got. Wait for the law to come around. Alright, he's got a cigar box. That's what I need right there. I'm gonna get me one of them cigar boxes right there. How does this work here? I know you can open it. And use it. Here we go. Look at that chat. We put our cigars in here. Pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. That way you don't have all of them in your pocket. You know? Look at that. We can fit ten cigars in here. That is the coolest thing ever. I like that. Let's see what else he's got. Tobacco. I got plenty of that. I got 30 of those. 40 of them. Uh, cigarette packs? I wonder how many comes in a pack. I'm not sure. What do you think? Like 10? I think 10 will come in a pack. They need a contract to hire. You know, they haven't said anything. Kind of want people to forget about them. Yeah, I understand. That way it kind of, you know, gets the heat off your back. Your new hire is doing good. You may need a contract to hire. I will. You know, I actually have a, um, I actually ran into an attorney earlier. And she actually asked me if I needed any documents wrote up. Um... And she knows I'm a business owner, so I will ask her if that is something that I need to hire, like, to hire people. Because I truly don't know. I do have my brothers hired, Rick and Noah. Uh, those are my brothers. Um, and I don't know that... I don't know. That's a good question. Thank you for bringing that up, Snipe. I'm going to have to ask. Let's see what the saloon over here has got. Good morning to you. Morning, fella. Oh my goodness. So, over here. then... Oops, excuse me, excuse me. Hello. Howdy. Smoked brisket. Now this is what I can get down with. Nota cola. A carbonated soft drink flavored with vanilla cinnamon. Ooh, that sounds good. Coffee, my usual. Tomahawk steak, $5. Well, I knew a few I was thinking for work for had contracts. I'm not sure if it's a full thing right or not. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely well, ask. You know what? I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> oh, how for you. <laughs> In little Let's find this little pawn shop here. Where would it be? Yeah, all right. I have to say. Farmer's Market, the Barber, the Theater. Oh, it's right across the damn street. Let's walk over here. Is this the pawn shop? Oh, enter. Okay. This is odd. I've never seen... Oh. Can you go in? No. Special clean floor. Oh, this is cool. This is the store. Let's see what they got. Wood, an axe, a gold bar. How are things with you? 
Eighty dollars that gold bar. I wonder how much those are actually sell for. Smelling salts, diamond necklace. That's pretty cool. I didn't know this was here. It's good to know. How the hell do I get out of here? I like that exit. Duh. All right. This is pretty neat. I like that. Can you see it from the downstairs? You can. That's super cool. Let's see if these guys are blown. Hey there, fellas. How are you all? Yeah, my name's David McCarthy. Uh, I'm looking for some some law. I didn't know if there was any around. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, okay. Are you guys from here? Uh, no, no. From, uh, New Austin. Oh, okay. What do you guys do out there? Uh, we're gunsmiths. Oh, really? Me too. Yeah, I'm a dealer one. Yeah, but cheap, cheapest prices in the state. Oh no, I wouldn't go that far now. No, we are. <laughs> Well, maybe on that side of the state, but on my side of the state, I'm the cheapest. Uh, how much uh, you sell a cheap. pistol for? Huh? So how much you sell a pistol for? Uh, 15. Oh, wait, pistols? Uh, my revolvers go for 15. My <laughs> pistols, it depends on what it is. Uh, See, we, we are flat at 15. Yeah. Do what? And what is? All handguns are flat at 15. Oh, yeah, nope. Couldn't be me. I, that cost too much to make to just put it 15. Oh, well, we, uh. Yeah. Managed to make enough, actually. It's well, I mean, we always wake up to an empty pill, so we're making something. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. As long as you're making money, it's all that matters, right? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what's important. Doesn't matter what you price your shit at, as long as you're making some money. Alright, we've had a uh, pretty good luck, actually. Really? Well, good. That's yeah. good to hear. I'm glad you guys yeah, are having good luck out there. way to tumble. Uh, yeah, don't go to Tumbleweed. I've heard nothing but bad things about Tumbleweed. Not the store itself, yeah. but like just Tumbleweed in itself. I've not heard anything good. Um, what about it? Well, oh. just that there's a lot of a lot of crime out that way, and it's just it's a rough place to get to if you I even can make say, it to Tumbleweed. I wouldn't say it's crime, not Tumbleweed. It's, more of, it's just the Mexicans and um, Yeah, it's more of these two groups deciding they think they run the place. Ah, and, but uh, we had to leave because of that, and they trashed my gun store earlier. So, well, that was pretty like... fucking dumb of them. You're probably their main fucking yeah. supplier for things, and then they want to treat you oh, like yeah. that. They're yeah, fucking idiots. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're so they, banging they really, on guns uh, while back. Oh yeah, they really fucked up. Well, I don't know what they think they're gonna do whenever they're out of the shit they need. and They can't get it because they no one else wants to sell to them. Oh yeah. Who who are the people that are up there? Uh, the Comancheros, I think they're called. And then the Ballard Twins. I haven't seen them around, though. Huh. I haven't heard of them. The only gang yeah, I've... quite a issue I, earlier. I've heard of the Sombreros. Uh, I don't think they're from New Austin, mate. I've never seen them. They've huh. been causing shit all over the place, but not, not in West. They probably know better to go out that far. Oh, yeah. I mean, two Mexican groups? Come on. It's pushing it. That's true. That's true. And now they're working together, I think. Yeah. Thing is, we're trying to make Armadillo, like, tidy up and make a good community, but the Mexicans are ruining everything. Well? Has there not any law out that way? Nope. It's a lawless territory. Thing is, the Mexicans haven't done enough for the marshals to come down. How have they not? They trash your fucking gun store. I know. They've been fucked with your guns. Isn't that a federal crime? I mean... Might be. It might be, yeah. Have you talked to the marshals about it? No, not yet. I, I kind of want to see the damage first before I do anything. Yeah, that's true. When are you thinking about going back out? Uh, quite soon. We're Pretty waiting soon. for yeah. my brother. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I hope things are better for you. If you need any help or supplies or something, just reach out to me. I'll take care of you. Um, I don't mind yeah, to help you. you uh, right. Where are you from? Uh, St. Denis. St. Denis. Saint Denis. Are you, you on the gun store there? Yes, sir. Oh. It's not a very nice place. Do you have the apartment upstairs? 
No, I do not. That's actually a, it's a gambling room, is what we're turning it into. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, the poker table's there. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, we're doing. We, um... It's going to be, um, so we have the casino boat, and I think it's $40 to play there, but if you want to play, like, high price poker, that's where it's going to be. It's going to be, like, a $150 buy-in. Oh, yeah, I heard someone doing that. Yep. So, if you want to win some big money, if you're good, you know, then you come out there and, well, obviously you'll yeah. you'll win some big money, but it'll be uh, it'll be fun for sure. And uh, while you're there, all the uh, drinks and food and all that stuff's free. So, Jesus, yeah. So, but it's a, it'll be a good time for sure. It'll be a good place to hang out, have a few drinks, smoke a few cigars, and mm. so if you guys ever find yourself out that way, just let me know. We can go upstairs and play and. We can hang yeah, out and sure. have a good time. Be good sitting with Sounds you, boys. Good, so, yeah. all right, take you up on the offer. Absolutely. You know, you guys are always welcome in the store and whatever you guys need. So. I mean, you're welcome down west, but the Mexicans are the problem, man. Yeah, so I understand. You, down, you know, go at your own risk. Yeah, I get it. I normally this is about as far west as I go right here. Sometimes I go up to Strawberry, yeah. but this is about it. It's good to get out of the store every now and then, you know. But I come over here to talk to Law, see if they needed anything. Um, but if this is your all's territory, if you guys are doing that, then I'll uh, I'll kick rocks. You just tell me. Oh, no, no, we don't, we don't. No, we don't really have a territory. No. That's a people's choice. <laughs> Fair enough. I just didn't want to step on your toes, at least. So. No, no, you're good, mate. We're hey. armadillo. That's it. Okay. Is uh so how much Law do you have out that way? Any at all? Uh, Zero. We've had um. The marshals come down to, uh, have jurisdiction there. Yeah, they they came down to uh, attempt an arrest on uh, Ike Bullard, I think, and it didn't really go well. But that's the only time they came down. Huh? It's weird that they're not out that way because they're all over roads and it seems like they're here all the time. Yeah. But it's like, I just don't you feel like really there's enough law. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, I don't understand why they're doing that I'm to you. I'm fine but... with it being a lawless territory because I should I use mean, their jails as a. My own. I'm not I'm up my prices, really not don't you worry. The Mexicans just—they're not gonna let go, man. And it's like, what are we supposed to do if we can gonna get, like attacked every day? Yeah, that's. It, may, it makes people not want to come down to New Austin. Like we're not—we're not gonna sit and shoot people and try and rob them just because they're, you know, riding through the desert. Yeah, I understand. I just, yeah, they, they I don't understand, out. like, why, what's the point of that shit? Like, what's the point of fucking <laughs> robbing people and shooting yeah. people for? Like, where does that well, benefit they, you? They take, they, they take advantage of it being lawless, so. No, go fucking figure. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't go out that way. Not, nothing against you all, but I would love I to come know, to your bro, store and like, visit and say hey and have a few cigars with you, but, man, it's well, um, rough. I'm putting aside a bit of money to uh, get the place redecorated and tidied up and all that, get some new businesses open, so right, hopefully yeah. by that time the Mexicans can respect it or not, I don't know, but if they start trashing the place, you know, like, we have a real issue and maybe get the marshals involved. Yeah, I mean, I'd keep a fucking shotgun behind the counter and start blasting them every oh, time yeah. they walk in the door, tell them they were on yeah, the lab. That's kind of what I want to do. If they come near my gun store, I'm just going to shoot them then. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can do. Defend your property, yeah. defend your peace, and yeah, exactly, yeah. go from there. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't I couldn't handle that shit. Nah, I've had handle, some people but... come in to the St. Denis gun store, and let's just say they fucked around, and they found out real quick. Yeah, They're an armadillo. The, uh, They're armadillo the gunsmiths. Gun store. They didn't put yeah. a good name on it, which is a shame. Yeah, for sure. Howdy, fella. There he is. Nice to meet you, bud. What's your name, fella? I'm Griffin. Do what? Hey, it's Griffin. Griffin. Oh. Nice to meet you. My name's David. David McCarthy. Hi, uh, this fella is... Well, I said my gun store, but it, it's his gun store. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm the gun store <laughs> owner in St. Denis. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you all own it. Y'all do. Yeah. Well, I'm the gun store owner in St. Denis, so I was uh, coming to talk to the law, see if they needed anything, but uh, I don't see him around. Yeah. But, uh, 
well, I told your brother here, I told him if you guys need any help out that way, just to let me know, and uh, be more than happy to help you. And if you needed more materials or whatever, I would always lend a hand. That yeah, good. I appreciate that, man. And you're welcome. And then uh, I invite him over to, uh, we have a uh, gambling house, gambling parlor upstairs above my gun store. So if you guys are into poker and you like to play some high bid poker, the buy-in is 150 And then the food and drink yes. there is free, so... So, yeah, yeah, so if you guys would like to want to come over and hang out, have a few drinks, cigars, play a little poker, you're always welcome. Thanks, man. You're welcome. So, yeah, like I said before, you're uh, welcome down in Armadillo, but just be careful. Yeah, I will for sure. I'll, I'll make my way out there at some point and say hey and bring you something, bring you a little present, I guess. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the uh, time will be all smartened up by the time you come down. That'll be nice. That will be nice. I'll keep my ears open. Hopefully it gets better out that way for you and people yeah, calm the fuck too. down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I told him, I was like, I'd keep a shotgun behind that counter and I'd just start blasting them every time they walked through the door. <laughs> telling you, yeah. you're not welcome here. Don't fucking come back. You come back in, I'm going to shoot your yeah. fucking brains out. That's what I'd tell them. Yeah, they're not working an armadillo. Yeah, I understand. So, all right, well, I'll leave y'all to it and let you guys get back to doing whatever right, you were doing. And uh, it's good meeting you. And hopefully Thank I see you, you soon. Yeah, pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, if y'all need anything at all, materials or anything, I'm always willing to lend a hand. Yeah, sure. I mean, likewise. It sounds yeah, great. Each other out. Sounds wonderful. Well, y'all take care now. Right. Yeah. yeah, you too, man. Have a good one. You too. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Those are nice fellas, chat. Nice fellas. I know Tim, we had great price, but between Lawless and it, it was empty as fuck. Yeah, I've heard that, that their stores never stocked. Now, it could be stocked, but it could all just be bought up. Could just be all bought up. That gentleman walked very close to me. Check out the gun store here. I've noticed that Law here does a lot of... Uh, they like to hang out in the towns. Joke. Well, that's nice of them. Sleep in the front. Wish I had some people that were nice like that. Double barrels 50. It's from 35. Springfield 50. Two and a half. Man, their prices are higher. He's got lasses. Five dollars for lasses. Yeah. Alright, let's walk over here and see some lols in. Should run that as a backstreet game, kind of like pro. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be cool. For sure. Oh, this gentleman's gonna fucking walk right in front of me. What a useless individual. I bet you there ain't a single lawman over your jet. They empty today. Yeah, they do a bit much of that, to be honest. Oh. Oh, if there's any. Oh, I can't even see in. Hello? Hello, is anyone here? Hello? I don't think anyone's home, chat. Hello, is anyone here? Hello? I don't hear no moving in there, chat. No one's here. I miss Blackwater. I used to be the gunsmith in Blackwater in one of my old servers. And uh, it was a very good time. I really enjoyed this town. Um, I just kind of got tired of looking at it, to be honest. I had the exact same gun stores I have here. And uh, it was so inconvenient. Because you have up there, like, we had to walk upstairs to craft everything. And... It just wasn't good. It just was not a good layout. But it's a be very beautiful store. Blackwater ore. What is this? Ooh, I guess this is to like sell fish and stuff. 
Yeah, I think over here, I, I never see them over here about this time for me. Let's run down. We'll send that telegram to Miss Cody. Oh, there's some people riding in. We have a lot of locals out here. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for coming and hanging out. If you haven't done so already, make sure you give me a follow that we can get all my uh, notifications whenever I go live. This fucking horse. I, this horse is stupid. This never stops when I tell it to. Good morning, sir. Or a villa. Oh, excuse me, sir. Just take your fucking time. Just walking slow as fuck. Uh, Brennan North Pole Reed. In the song, I'm going to write the to the Vivian Quinn. Give you my telegram. Give you, Vivian. She's, she was a nice lady, Jet. I liked her. She was cool. I seem to have lost that telegram. All right. Oh shit, that's way too many Z's, chat. Fuck. Eight, one, four, five, seven. A Morgan? Nope. I uh I got a Breton and uh, my brother got a um a Norfolk. That's what he got. We had the point fire due to the poor luck we were unable to get it from this morning. Where are you currently? William's telegram is that. I do need William's telegram. William Go, go. Okay, that's enough, folks. Let's get back to work. All right. Okay, right, we're gonna ride back up to here. Check on things. I do love that clock sound. It's a, it's a very just 
Peaceful. It's a peaceful town. Kind of reminds me of my grandma's house. Right on up. Do this ranch here. Check them out. She probably ain't got it done. I heard, like, how long it normally takes is like 45 ish minutes or so. That man looked biffy. He's riding real fast. Kind of makes me nervous. Um, this way. We went the wrong way. Uh, I've checked the law already um, to talk with them about getting some guns potentially. And I'm actually, I know one of the hunters out there, his name's Moses. And uh, we've been in talk to uh, He's. We're thinking about doing a business deal. He wants to give me some customized guns, or he wants to customize some guns and sell them in his store. Shit. So we've been kind of talking about that. This way is rigs. Who's your horse trainer? Yeah, I'm in talk with Moses. Um, he's actually supposed to be making me some lassos too. Moses is pretty cool. I tried to pay him for some work that he was going to do for me, and he almost didn't take my money. Almost did not take it. But he's a very nice guy. I'm trying to help him out, too, uh, potentially selling some of his meat over in St. Denis to our saloon and... Hopefully get him some more business, make him some more money too. Chrissy and Strawberry. I've not talked to anybody in Strawberry because um, I know the gunsmith over there is very active in strawberry, so I don't really want to step on those toes. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what gunsmiths aren't active, who is real active, um, so that way I can kind of move into the territories that maybe aren't very active. Um, I've heard that uh, the gunsmith in Blackwater is active, but I never see him in there. I bet she's out training my horse. I don't see her here.
Hmm. I don't know, Chip. She might be out training. She might be in the battle time. He is very awesome. I really enjoy having him around. He's a cool guy. He knows a lot, too. He sure does know a lot. Those are always the good people to have around. Oh, she, yeah, she might be. Yeah, but can't ride a horse today, apparently. It's weird they can't train at the ranch, though. So I thought there was like a whole stable thing out there, you know? Way move, fella. Oh, oh, sorry, dude. Oh, whoops. I'll be here and check on this. See, she made telegram me. He was in the way. Okay, he was definitely in the way. I couldn't avoid him. Let's see what's going on here. Absolutely. Uh, I will be up at the ranch training your horses. If you're not seeing there, I might be out and taking a break from time to time. I will keep you updated by your horses as much as I can. Reply. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I need to work. Yeah. 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 They can buy. She preferred Valentine. Oh, okay. I was about to say they have a uh, they have a whole store there too. Give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. Give me just a sec. <coughs> Actually, sorry about that. I'm back. Oh, 
Well, my horse is dirty. Brush her off at least. Guess who? What you mean? I need to go back to town, see if I can find this uh, Cody Stone telegram. Yeah, she just left again. I think it was her. Oh. She didn't uh, telegram me back, maybe. Let me go double check. I want to ride all the way back to Saint Denis, and then she telegrammed me, and I didn't find it. But yeah, apparently it only takes like 45 minutes to train a horse. I don't know how long I was out in Blackwater, but I don't think it's 45 minutes. Nope, she didn't telegram me. Huh. Maybe she might have been telegramming somebody else. Yes, she is. So I've known this Cody uh, Rhodes uh, Stone. Cody Stone. She normally hangs out in Rhodes. Let's stop back in through there and see if she's around. <laughs> Popped in again? Super sick. Oh, super quick. Yeah. Should probably just check and see if I telegram her back. Or if somebody else. It was probably somebody else. Telegram her. I probably would be too, to be honest. It could have been, for sure. I didn't see them, so... I did not see them. I love the V-Mode ride. It kind of just lets me sit back and relax, you know?
All right, run back to St. Denis, chat, all the way back over. Chat, we are seven followers away from our goal. Seven follow. I know there's seven of you here that would love to follow, and let's crush this goal together. I know we can do it. I'd love to set a new goal for, we can set a goal for 100 and once we reach 70. Let's do it, chat. I know we can. I believe in us. I know we can do it. I hope everyone's having a good time. I hope everyone's loving the story. We've been pretty busy tonight. Um, out running around, making deals. Um, got us a new horse. So if you're just joining in, that's the uh, that's the scoop. Now we're on our way back to St. Denis. But I need to stop in in Rhodes and see if uh, Cody Stone is in there, the attorney. Chat, we are seven. Oh, fuck, that's all Thorn. What up? I had it. How goes it? What are y'all doing? How much did that carpenter charge you for those uh, handles there? Hundred dollars. And it was a okay. hundred handles, right? Yeah, a dollar a handle. Okay, good. Uh, we just wanted right. to make sure he stuck with the deal we organized. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, he showed up in my store, and I was like, yeah, he wasn't supposed to do well, that. Yeah, he, he was, was just supposed gonna... to just send a telegram, but yeah, we uh, it's we, all, didn't, we didn't mean right. to you know, cause any confusion. We were just going to deal with it ourselves and get you the handles. No, that's fine. I uh, I was rolling up to the store and he was sitting outside in the wagon. I was like, who the hell is this? And uh, so I tried to talk to him, but obviously his jaw's broken, I yeah, think, or something. Shuts, yeah. And uh, so he didn't say anything. And uh, I was like, all right. And uh, then he started writing on paper what he was trying to tell me. He's like, I have 100 handles for you, 50 rifle and 50 revolver. Or repeater, 50 repeater and 50 revolver. And I was like, what? And I was like, how much are they? He said, $100. I was like, okay. So I gave him $200 because I gave him a $100 tip for delivering. But but yes, he said he was going to make me those lassos. I see, actually seen him earlier in Valentine at the saloon. And he said that he still needed to make them. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. The reinforced ones, or yeah, the reinforced lasers. The reinforced ones. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got. Uh, uh, Moses has all the fiber he needs for his uh, the regular lassos now, so he's working on those. Perfect. Yeah, I seen Moses earlier in town, and uh, yeah, we we hope he's working on it because he tried to give it all back because somebody was he couldn't get into the carpenter right then. So yeah, we're, we're like, he tried no, to... we we paid you to make these get after it. Yeah, like, what the heck? Yeah, he uh, I seen him in town, and he was uh, talking about trying to sell his meat or something to the saloons. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The hell, Storm. Thanks for the yeah, follow. I appreciate was, you. We just wanted to make sure that the strawberry uh, uh, carpenter was giving you the deal we organized and not trying to hamstring you by going around us. No, he didn't. He didn't. I was just very confused why he showed up there because I was like, I didn't order anything. I didn't think uh, other than oh, yeah, those yeah, losses. You, you did. I did. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, I did. So I was like, man, I'll take them. I don't mind. Um, both of you, since I got both of you here, I got those specialty guns in the store. Oh, yeah? And uh, they're 45 bucks a piece. They're a Navy crossover. They're the st uh, Steel Colt and uh, the Double Action. Uh, okay. So, okay. yep. Yeah, so, I got like 12 of every of them. Unless, I think some have sold already, actually. We met at Gorma. Okay. It's good to see you. Awesome. Thanks for coming to hang out in the stream. So, totally yeah, good. we, uh, we come back that way. Uh, yeah. Here, here just as soon as we can get everything wrapped up out here with the whole Moses. Get that order picked up and brought back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, uh. Also, we accidentally saved your competition's life. Yeah, we did. We did. But well, why the hell would you do that? Well, we didn't know. Yeah, that's that old. We just uh, followed the black Lassie. trail and found a, found a yeah. fella. Yeah. yeah Who was it? Lassie there from. Valentine. Uh, Lassie, I believe it's uh, um, yeah. yeah. He's got some outrageous prices, is all I'm going to say. 
that's, yeah, that's well, you want to know why his price for fifty thousand dollars come on you want to know why his price is so fucking outrageous that man's probably buying steel for three dollars and fifty cents a fucking yeah. steel or i'm buying them for a dollar 25. probably that's, so yeah. that's most likely what it is he's working with that he's just buying from that blacksmith right there he didn't have any supply to actually get anything done well i know needs some, some damn better blacksmiths i agree it does it does I, I thought about giving up the parlor and getting the blacksmith instead. Well, if you decide to give it a blacksmith, get the fucking one of St. Denis if there's one there. Yeah, that well there is. And yeah, there's nobody in there. There's not even a clerk at the... I know, the we need them. That, one, that and so. carpenters. It's definitely available, but I don't know how well that'd go over with the... Uh, or shit, uh, I don't know if the St. Denis carpenter's available, but that could be an option for you too. Fuck, there seems like there's uh, only one. Uh, somebody, somebody owns that. Yeah, I knew they did, but I haven't seen them around in fucking forever. Yeah, I sent them yeah. a damn telegram, they haven't got back to me. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's been... what the thing. People are so, they get what they want, and then, oh, well, I got what I wanted. I don't need to do anything. And then that's that. Right, yeah. I know the strawberry the, the strawberry carpenter, he's he's pretty good. He's um, I like him so far. Yeah, he's... Hagen, Hagen's a good guy. I've, I've talked with him before, uh, and... <laughs> Yeah, he was. I, we had brokered that deal before his jaw was wild, wired shut. So oh, what the fuck happened to his jaw? I, I, have I don't idea. fucking that's really a, know, to be new, honest with you. That's a new development for me. The last time I saw him, he was talking just fine. Chat, does anybody know what happened to his jaw? I don't. I don't know. I was very confused why he wasn't speaking to me. And uh, then he was like, he like tried to mumble, oh, yeah. and I was like, oh, your jaw's wired shit. No fucking cheese. Yeah, slow on the, on the notepad writing as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it takes but, time. It's all right. Yeah. He did get s surrounded by some fellas last time I talked to him. I don't know if they were undesirables or, or what, but his jaw was already wired shut. Oh, Lord. It was his, uh, He's got know. a uh, he's got an associate, and I hope uh, I hope her her jaw isn't where I'm shut too. <laughs> I hope uh, not. That'd be two, unfortunate. At least one of them yeah. be able to speak. Yeah, uh, that, that yeah. carpenter should be giving you really. That was one dollar for stocks and handles, right? Anything. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Any other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you need, you can just get from him for a dollar now. Yep. Yep. Oh, perfect. He'll, he'll do bulk orders. You can tell him you need five. Lasso's a dollar too. Uh, I don't know what it'll be. Well, probably not, for, but, but you know, probably, handles and stocks. The wood, I think it's just because the wood, it gets so easily, and he's right there at it. But Yeah, the, so uh, close to the fucking good forest they, there. Yeah, the, I'm going to be honest with you, that fiber is, you got to do a lot of farming to get that fiber. And really? You can't just farm up stuff to get fiber. So, our whole thing was, <laughs> the only reason we even had the fiber was because we were doing a little bit of farming for somebody. So... Yeah, we we made a was... connection with a farmer and we're able to purchase a bunch of bulk. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. Saves your time. I can't lie. Ain't no way I'd be fucking. You know how long it would take to get four hundred fiber without that, that? Holy shit! That, that Forever. Farming, that farming's for the, for the birds, man. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. With you. I, 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 I'm right there. Well, that's why the fuck do you think I make guns for a living? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You think I'm gonna be fucking farming hell? No. I'd rather. I'd I rather. Our, our business is making your life easier. Yeah, that's what that's, you pay us for. That's right. That's what we do. We we broker deals. That's what we do. We I like it. I've been. People need when we get it to them. So. I've been fucking, uh, riding around town trying to make deals with the law, but everybody in Rose was all about it. But up in Valentine, they were kind of sketchy about it. I don't now, know. They were I trying to be. I told that fellow there, he, uh, you know, I told him that, uh, you know, I work there in the, in the gun store and he's like, Oh, well, how much are your sawed off shotguns? And I told him, Oh, about 40 bucks. And he goes, Holy shit. I'm going to tell everybody about that. So huh. I think though, I think the folks there in Valentine will come around. I thought you didn't sell sawed off shotguns, David. It wasn't sawed off since the right, he has the like full size. Yeah. Oh, so man. I actually, uh, I'm sorry. I, said I need, I need you two to figure this out for me. And I think I have a connection, but I can't say my connection right now. Um, maybe when... Uh, David, can't trust. Can't no. Trust Who the hell can you trust? I can trust you. Uh, the problem isn't you all. Um, I'll tell you probably this evening. Um, a little later. Um, but uh, I don't have a blindfold on. So, uh, But uh, what I recommend... Mm -hmm. 
is I just need y'all to try to figure out um, where we can get sawed off shotguns, and I'd like to start selling. Another thing I'd like for y'all to try well, to figure out. Gun store yeah. owner owes us a fucking favor, so yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what, I'll get that information for you. Yeah, I mean, if he's so, fucking doing it, then. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll we'll get that for you. We'll have an answer for you. So let us let us pick that a little bit. We'll 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 chew that fat and we'll we'll find what you need. I like it. Yep. So just sold off shotguns and then uh, that's what I'd like to try and sell. Apparently there used to be a fucking bench behind my fucking store, but it's broken now. Someone oh. destroyed the whole bench. Oh damn. And that bench made the saw. You could it had the tools and the blueprint for the sawed off shotgun. Is that the? It did, but someone fucking broke it. I guess I don't know. So that's the oh. So that's what you're saying is there's there's a there's a specific set of tools and stuff that you need. Yeah, yeah. Some specialty tools and okay. blueprints All right. somewhere. Okay. This well, is this is right. That's up our, our specialty. Alley, David. That's our specialty. We, we well, if there's a if there's a blueprint to be found or a set of tools to be found, we will find it, sir. That sounds good to me. I just need to know where the fuck it moved to, who moved the bench, or if we have to go through someone now to figure it out. So, mm -hmm. um, I got a few ideas. Maybe, yeah, maybe pawn shops. Maybe pawn shops will be able to do. It. I don't fucking know. Or blacksmith. What goes? We'll uh, we'll get it figured out. Yeah, we'll take a look. We'll All see right. what we can find on them. Yeah, just let me know. Uh, I got me a horse training. I don't fucking know. I hope not. No, the, the law uses them. They're not illegal. I got them right here. All right. Okay. Well, I just want to be able to sell those sons of bitches and yeah. be a good time. But if yeah, you need no, me, if, good. if you figure out how to make them and you need the shotguns, I can whip up about fucking hundred of those sons of bitches and we can yeah. get her done. Let's, yeah. uh, let us let us track it down and then we'll we'll let you know what we need for it. Right? Yeah. Right. Yep. Sounds good to me. You all just let me know right. and. We'll go from there. All right. Y'all well, right. right. yeah. take care. We'll Be careful. Up. Yeah, you do. Right, do. These fools ride around the whole county all night long. Lassie won't tell me. Oh, he's going to tell me. He may not tell me, but he's going to tell them. They do. They, they find everything. Those are the people you want to have close to you. Hundred percent saves me the trouble of trying to figure it out. And they enjoy it. That's that's a good thing is that they enjoy doing that. So they tell me everything. They tell me they get paid handsomely and they know it. They know if they tell me they're going to get paid. And they love money as much as I love money. Oh. Out of there. Is one of you Miss Cody? Cody Stone. No. Y'all know where she might be? Uh, I don't know, but I suspect the DOJ folk are a bit busy today. Um, I don't know where they went. They, she was here earlier today, but it was a bit of time ago now. Okay. No idea where they went. Yeah. Does, she, does she normally hang out in St. Denis? Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. I've only met her twice now. Um, <laughs> interesting lass, honestly. Alright, fair enough. Well, I'm just looking mm. for him. Oh yeah, I pay them. Right, well, I pay um, them good. You probably do best off with a telegram. She seems to move around a lot. Does anyone here have her telegram? She gave it to me earlier, but uh, I dropped it. No, sorry. <laughs> That's alright, I'll figure um, it out. Check the, uh, go to the um, post office and check the bulletin boards, maybe. Okay. Sounds wonderful, I appreciate you. I'm gonna head back on mm. over to St. Denis. No she said her car should be in her office. Do you know about where that would be? And no idea. Okay, so I'll I, look around. Um, probably in the courthouse somewhere. Mm. Okay. I've only been in there twice. I don't know what room is where. Um, might need a little, uh, not necessarily snoop, but um, check if 
it names on the door anyway. Yeah, I'll check. I'll check it out. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate your time. Yeah, no I'll take yeah, care. You be safe. I know she normally hangs out. What you pay them? Oh, I pay them a lot. It kind of depends on what they bring me, really. Let's just say they're not hurting for money by any means. I bought them a wagon. They do so much running and gathering supplies for me, I just bought them a wagon. It makes their life a little easier, makes mine a little easier. I can get more, more bulk at a time, you know? A lot of people in these fields. Where we get washed up here? I get fucking ate by an alligator. Should we test it? Perfect. Look at that chap. We didn't get eight by an alligator. Ooh. How do I make my money? Sorry, I just saw that. How do I make my I'm a gunsmith. I'm the gunsmith in Saint Denis. I make a lot of money. I make a lot. Howdy there, fella. Hi, babe. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Oh, good. Uh, do you run the gun store here? I do. I'm the owner. I'm, my name's David. Oh. David McCarthy. Oh, all right. Nice to meet you, Mr. McCarthy. You as well. Oh. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name is Jay Blue. I'm the bartender over at the casino boat. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You got a nice place over there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still getting used to it. I'm uh, relatively new. Okay. Fair enough. Is there anything I can help you with today? Yeah, um, I was looking to pick up some uh, rifle ammo. I'm, I'm about to go out hunting for a bit. Okay. How many boxes are you thinking? Um, I think, um, hmm. If I could get four boxes, I think. Yeah, sure. Give me just a second. I'll whip you some up. It'd be a lot cheaper if you let me whip it up for you, so. Yeah, yeah, I figure.
I about had a stroke. Couldn't find all my gunpowder. All right, sir. That'd be ten dollars. Oh, that is cheaper. And I gave oh, you a oh. box on the house. Oh, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. All right, so. I'll definitely try to catch you next time I'm in need of uh, ammo instead of uh, purchasing from this family. Yep, yep, sounds good. If you ever need anything else, just let me know, okay? All right, thank you kindly. Uh-huh. Well, thank you. I try to keep it uh, pretty friendly in here. Let's run up here and see if there's... Uh, it depends. What what kind of cost are you looking for? Out of there. Is one of you, Cody? Or did I just... Yes. Okay, I was wanting to talk to you about uh, some of those contracts that you write up. Yeah. Did so, you need a business contract then? Do what? Did you need a business contract written in? Uh, possibly, yes. Um, so, mm -hmm. I was wondering, do I need a contract to employ people? Um, you could have um, an, a contract stating things if you wanted to, like requirements, or else they'd be fired and stuff. Though, if you are a private company, you could say you have uh, personal discretion on whether or not they could fire, so it could be an equal opportunity hire, where you would also have the equal opportunity to fire as well. Oh, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is not a bad idea to have a mm -hmm. uh, contract, an employment contract signed by all employees. Also, a non-disclosure agreement, which would typically be uh, mm -hmm. any trade secrets that they learn or any information about the business, they agree to not reveal it to anyone else. So they don't take your information, uh, grab your books and your information, and take it over to your competitor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's also I think that's a good idea. All of those things are actually very smart for a, a, a gentleman to have, especially if they have a business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that'd be nice. How much did it cost me to get some of those made up? Uh, let me check real quick for you. I actually have these written down somewhere. I'll be right back. All right. So it would be two hundred dollars for any for as many contracts as you would need together. Okay. I can do a couple contracts for two hundred. 
Yeah, so uh, the, I guess the non-disclosure one, uh, the business mm -hmm. contract, and then uh, what other ones do you think we should have? Basically, basically all these would be included in one like employment contract if that's what you're doing. Like yeah. a non-disclosure would be included in your business contract for your employees. Okay, and then I would just need to have them sign those, or how do we go about it? Yep, I would. You would have them sign them. I would have a witness as well as myself to make sure that would be done, and we'd be good. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. If you have my telegram. Reach out to me whenever you're ready, and we'll discuss the meanings of your contract whenever you're available. Oh, what's your? Right now, I'm trying to. Oh, it's you, you. Or actually, I have a business card. Let me give you that. Oh, that's even better. Let me step over here. I'm sorry that I can't do it right now. I need to head to bed soon, and I also need to see a doctor. So. That's okay. All right. I only have five business cards, so don't lose it, okay? Yeah. There you go. All righty. I appreciate you. Yeah, if I have to pay a dollar for each business card, that's why I only have five. Oh. Well, uh, I appreciate you, and uh, I'll yeah, definitely be in touch. And yeah, of course. I'd be happy to help. Yeah, just let me know when you're ready, okay? Alrighty, thank Have a good, you. Just uh -huh. telegram me what you're looking for, and I'll telegram you when we can meet up and discuss it. Alright, sounds wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, chat. And what did you think of the design? What costs are you curious about? Like, uh, like gun costs, ammo costs? What type of guns are you looking? Hello, sir. Where the hell? How do you do, sir? Hello. Oh, you're good. Hello, sir. See if we got anything else in here. Well, oh, that's not what I'm meant to do. These aren't selling as fast as I thought they would. Snipe, here's all my prizes or stuff. If you were curious. I 
can take a mental note here of what's what. Five, nine. I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. We're gonna we're gonna try for a raid this evening. Let's see who we can raid today, chat. Alright, chat. So it's been phenomenal. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll be back soon. I do work tomorrow chat, so I may not be on. Um, hopefully, I'll try and stream tomorrow night for our seventh day to be affiliate status. Um, that'd be super cool. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go raid uh, Punk11 here. He looks like he's the captain, uh, Mr. Chase Ward, with the new Hanover Sheriff's Office. Let's see we're going to go raid. So, stick around. Make sure you guys uh, hang out with his stream and give him a little love. So we're going to start that raid here pretty soon. So make sure everyone hangs out and gives them a little love. Oh, I had a fucking heart attack. JB, thank you for scaring the shit out of me and for rating me. I appreciate it. Ooh. <clears throat> all right. Sorry about that. It's okay. Is he all right? Uh, why, why is he playing with his fucking gun in my town? You want is, that another, is that a law? Is he one of yours? Uh, he is. You want to tell him to settle down before he gets everyone antsy? Yeah, tell him to stop getting in a particular position. Give him a moment, he's like having finger issues. Oh, wait, tell, him, tell him to go in the saloon where he's not like, you know, I everyone's think he's having at him. issues in general, if you know what I mean. Give him a moment. <laughs> 